These are the AirPods 2. Actually, scratch that. These are the new AirPods with wireless charging case. It's a bit confusing because these are the same AirPods as before, yet there are some improvements. Let's get one thing out of the way first. Audio quality is the same. It's generally good, but they lack some low end and high end is overemphasized, making for an overall sharper sounding. So again, the new AirPods sound exactly as the same as the old ones. They're not bad, they're just not great. One of the two major new features is the new H1 chip, which improves wireless performance. It reduces the amount of latency, that is the possibility of having the sound appear delayed compared to the image that you see on screen when watching video or playing games. And it also makes transferring the AirPods between devices like an iPhone and a Mac a bit faster. The other major feature is the case, which now supports wireless charging. However, if you want the new AirPods with a wireless charging case, you need to pay $200. If you want to pay the old price, 160, you can still do that and get the new AirPods, but in a regular case, like the old one, that is without wireless charging. And how big of a quality of life upgrade is the new wireless charging case? Well, one thing to keep in mind is that it's slower to charge compared to just using the cable, but it certainly makes for a cleaner setup. A wireless charging pad typically looks prettier than a wire sticking out. And by the way, make sure you have a charging pad instead of a stand, because it's very likely that most wireless charging stands won't be able to charge your AirPods. Because of their small size, they likely won't line up properly with the coils in the charging stand. The AirPods have a class-leading battery life, but the improvements with this new model are minimal. Music playback battery life is the same as before, and it's only talk time when using them for calls that has been increased by about 50%. Now, we would have loved it if Apple had upgraded the sound quality a little, but sadly that is not the case. At least we have the improvements made to latency and other wireless operations. If you own the original AirPods and your batteries are still holding up, there is no need to upgrade to the second gen AirPods. But for all those that are just now getting into the truly wireless headphone world, the new AirPods would make for a great choice. Thanks for being here and watching our AirPods 2019 review. But you know what? There is a whole world of mobile tech news and reviews out there and it's called PhoneArena.com. Like a phone and an arena, but in one thing. And it can be yours at PhoneArena.com. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Vic Christoph, signing off and I'll talk to you next time right here.